So what is the best small sized gaming keyboard right now in my hand guys? I got the Ducky 1 2 Mini and look how, look how tiny this is right now. This one is using Sherry. MX Blue switches as you can hear this clicky characteristic sound but yeah this keyboard actually comes in a wide range of different Cherry MX switches in this video I'm gonna test this out is this something you maybe want to game on let's find out so hey how is it going guys it's Robin here on RB and Hardware on this channel you'll find PC hardware as well as gaming peripherals and so if you're interested in that consider subscribing and don't forget to tap the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos and in this video we're gonna take a look at Ducky's latest gaming mechanical keyboard it's called the one two mini rgb and with that said what is your favorite key switch let me know in the comments with that said let's dig into it so this is the first time ever for me using a what's called a 60 percent sized keyboard so essentially what this means is that this keyboard is 60 percent the size of a normal sized keyboard so i've been super excited to unbox and give this one a try ever since i first uh, ordered it months ago actually i had to write this down but my first initial thoughts after right after unboxing it was uh, number one <laughs> damn boy this keyboard is so so small my second thought was it's actually very nice to type on and my third was the PBT double shot keycaps have a very nice quality feeling to themselves but yeah more on that later now I should said last couple of days has been a roller coaster like experience now even though this keyboard is so small now I am able to do pretty much all the things I were able to do on a full sized keyboard and it's like every time I'm looking down at this keyboard my brain is having a hard time to process what's going on it sounds a bit silly guys but try and follow me here for a second when i'm sitting at my chair right looking down on it the sight that i'm witnessing is laughable in my head it looks unusable but when i turn my focus to the monitor and start typing for some odd reason everything just works all the keys are where they're supposed to be and every keyboard shortcut is working and yet for some odd reason it takes up no space on the desk it's so weird to me and i don't even know how to explain this in words you kind of have to try this out in order to fully understand the roller coaster ride i'm taking every time I use this keyboard. By the way, this is the same keyboard as Tfue uses. But yeah, enough of that. Let's talk a bit about the specifications. So we got full N key rollover here without any type of ghosting. We got a thousand hertz pulling rate and a detachable USB Type C Gen 2 non braided cable. Now the function key right next to the Windows key is on the far right hand side of the keyboard. And this key pretty much replaces all the extra keys a full-size keyboard have now almost every key now have two functions or layers here let's take the k key as an example here it works as the letter k of course but when you hold the function key down it all of a sudden transform into a down arrow key now hiding common keys under a lay like this would have been devastating thankfully most of the keys that are hiding under the function key layer are keys you aren't typically needing for playing video games Games. I say typically because there are exceptions of course. Now I'm gonna be 100% honest, I didn't think I was gonna say this, but even though this keyboard is considered to be 60% the size of a full size keyboard, I honestly don't miss that many keys really. Occasionally I actually do kind of miss the arrow keys from time to time, like uh, for example when I'm typing and when I want to move the marker a few lines up or to the left, for example, I need to hold down the function key while pressing either J, K or L in order to move the marker. It definitely takes some time to adjust to these type of things. So here's another example. When I'm trying to search for something on Google or YouTube and YouTube and Google suggest tool pops up and let's say I want to move the marker to the second suggestion. This is another typical example when arrow key works incredibly well this is one of the reasons why i think it's so important to have these things in mind before picking this up if you let's say are heavily relying on the numpad or using the arrow keys a lot then i would definitely look for something bigger here 
period. Now let's talk on probably the biggest elephant in the room if you ask me at least. Why is this tiny ass keyboard so expensive? Now I picked this up for around 1400 Swedish crowns. That is pretty much equals to the 159 US dollars you have to pay for it on Amazon. Now I have been searching the web for other places where you can pick this up and there aren't that many places that seems to sell them. Now there is this place called mechanicalkeyboards.com but yeah I don't know how trusted they are. Amazon are again also selling them for 160 US dollars. I link them up down below if you want to check them out. It seems like they are shipping these from Asia because of the high demand and low supply has as a result dragged up the price a bit which is unfortunate. Now let's talk a bit about the mechanical switches. So the keyboard comes in a total of six different key switches all from Sherry MX. We got red, blue, brown, black, speed and silent red. Now if you are all new to switches I recommend visiting a local shop and get a feeling for what might be a good fit for you. That being said I went with the blue ones on this keyboard which is a click key switch that requires about 50 grams of force to activate the switch and an actuation that happens at 2.2 millimeter and a total travel of 4 millimeters and this is what they sound like So what about the PBT double shot keycaps? What makes these keycaps so special compared to regular ABS plastic keycaps you typically find on regular keyboards, you might ask? Well to stand out a bit, Ducky has chosen PBT seamless double shot keycap. It is designed and engineered in a way to provide a user with the best durability and typing experience. So they have this crispy smoothness texture to themselves that you don't find on painted keycaps. And so that is the major difference here. It's essentially a more expensive plastic and it's not painted directly and so they won't get worn out as easily basically. Something we need to address also is that inside the box you also get a bag of 10 extra additional keycaps in a random color here. We got green, red, yellow or blue and so with every keyboard ducky is sending out you get an additional bag with a few extra keys uh, essential keys such as enter key, an escape key and a few more additional keys in a random color. These additional keys that comes in a plastic bag on the side is random so you never know what you will find in yours. In my box I got the blue keys here. Having a peek inside the manual tells you all the secret commands in order to control all the functions on this keyboard since there is no software which is a bit of a bummer if you ask me. With that said there is a total of 10 different RGB patterns to choose from here. Now I'm not gonna go over each of them in details but I am going to show them here super quick anyways all of which can be customized in various ways but if you want to learn more how this works I'll leave a link down below. Now on this keyboard you will find all the typical features you find on any premium keyboard at this price point including something called Ducky Macro 2.0 as well as mouse control function. So if you're looking for a keyboard with plenty of options and versatility I feel like Ducky really did a home run with this baby. Now with this all being said 160 US price tag definitely puts the 1-2 mini RGB in the premium category for sure but if you really want to pamper yourself a bit you simply won't go wrong with the Ducky 1-2 mini RGB. It is a brilliant keyboard and even though it is missing a few features such as dedicated USB hub, a palm rest, dedicated media buttons and so on which is always almost included on a keyboard at this price tag. It is something that I'm willing to sacrifice for the tiny size and portability. Now if you're traveling a lot, visiting a ton of LAN parties for example, you're constantly on the go and you simply cannot play with everything but the premium key switches or you simply prefer something smaller with tiny bezels, the Ducky 1 2 Mini RGB is a brilliant purchase in my opinion. Now if you on the other hand don't care too much for the size, there are better choices out there in my opinion that can save you the potential headache of pressing the function key every once in a while but for just gaming alone I didn't have to touch the function key 
even once. With that said, what is your favorite key switch? Let me know in the comments. Now I'm gonna be back with a brand new video in just a day or two. Until then, have an awesome day, right?